Melissa Mattingly, and I am the event producer in the Event and Rentals Department at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And today, I'm bringing you another fun party planning idea, individual mini pull pinatas. These are the perfect add-on for any social distance gathering you may have, or for even a simple family celebration, um, like maybe the last day of school, or if you're just in need of a boredom buster for your family. So the supplies that you need today are empty toilet paper roll, string, glue, scissors, tape, and tissue paper in different fun colors and patterns. The first thing you're going to do is cut out a square of the tissue paper that is about two and a half by two and a half in size. Then you want to fold it in half, make a small cut, open it up, fold it in half the other way, and make another small cut. This should create a small X. Next, you're going to place that over the top of the toilet paper roll and tape it on. Next, you're going to grab your string, and it can be as long as you would like. Um, you at least probably want a foot. This is going to be the pull part to open the pinata. And you want to tape the end over top of the X. You don't want to use too much tape because you want it to be able to easily open up one seat pull. From there, you're going to take a sheet of your tissue paper and you're going to fold it in half once, twice, three times, and maybe more depending how large it is, but you want it to be about an inch and a half to two inches. From there, you're going to cut off from the end, again, about an inch and a half to two inches over. Then you're going to take your scissors and cut up in strips three-fourths of the way to create fringe. And you want to do this for each different layer of tissue paper that you want to use. From there, we're going to take our glue and begin building the body of the pinata. So I'm just using a glue stick and I'm going around the bottom. And then I take the fringe and I wrap it around. cut off any extra. And then you're just going to keep building from there. You can do as many layers as you want depending how much fringe. I found what I'm doing now and in these is that four layers seems to work best. This would be something fun to do at a birthday party as well um, because each child could make their own. And then again, um, for social distancing, it's nice because you can space them apart to have each kid hold their own pinata. Okay, and then the last step, once you have the fringe on, is you want another piece of string for the handle. And then you just want to tape that on the inside. You do want to make sure that's secure so that when 
you go to pull the pinata later, you don't accidentally pull the handle part off. And then the final step is filling your pinata. And this again is where it's fun since it's individual. Because you can really cater what you put inside to the child. Here one idea would be miniature chocolate. One, I'm going to do some fun little trinkets and toys like bubbles, an eraser, bracelets, stickers. And then a third option is confetti and glitter. So you simply want to take it and dump it into your pinata. Just make sure whatever you choose is lightweight so that when you put it in, it doesn't break open the bottom. Okay, so now let's go outside and I'm gonna grab my kids and we'll show you what they look like when you open them. See you in a minute. All right, here we go. Kids, are you ready? Yeah! All right, let's 